This is a, a video in response to a question from uh, one of the YouTube followers, and it's how you might determine uh, the velocity through the disk yeah, from Freud momentum. So this is my, my take on it. So if we had a propeller disk, for example, and there's air going through it. So the speed of the air, let's hear it say here is V, and the speed of the air going through the disc is v naught, and the speed of the air, um, you know, downstream is v s. This is the slipstream velocity. So the air at this point has a kinetic energy of half m v squared, and the air at this point here has a kinetic energy of half m v s squared. So there is a change in kinetic energy. And that change in kinetic energy would be half m v s squared minus v squared. So where does the air get that energy um, to, to increase the velocity from v to v s? And it gets it from the propeller and uh, propeller stroke engine combination. So we could say that the power, and, and th this, this mass is mass flow per second. So the change in energy per second is, is power. So th the the power provided by the propeller uh, an engine will be equal to half m v s squared minus v squared. So if I take this the equation here, uh, that's uh, the difference of squares. So that can be broken up as v s plus v and v s minus v. And I can rewrite that as v s plus v over two. So bring it a half across. And from momentum theory. Uh, which we had in, in a previous video. This is the average velocity between V and Vs, and that's equal to this velocity here, V0. So the, the power is M times V0, Vs minus V. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna park that. And we just recall from momentum theory, some other formulas. So we saw um, that this v, v naught is equal to v plus one plus a where a is the in inflow factor so if if you recall you know so we we assumed that the inflow like that the air was sort of coming in like this you know so it's, it's you know the velocity is v here and it speeds up by some factor uh called a so the velocity at, at this point here is a v and we can say that this uh, v naught is equal to v to one plus a v i should say that's v plus a v so that was from uh, from the momentum team and and these are the formulas we got we got from that. So we have a, a, a value for the velocity v naught, and we have a value here for the velocity vs, the slipstream value, plus uh, the efficiency of the propeller. Again, related to this uh, inflow factor A. So if I, uh, if I take v naught here and rearrange the equation, I can get a value for v. And I'm going to put that value for V in here for Vs. So Vs now becomes uh, V naught times one plus A times one plus two A. So I'm just, I've just substitute this value in here for V. And I'm going to take both of these and substitute them in to our power equation. And that's what we have out here. So Vs is V naught times one plus A times one plus two A. I think I've said that wrong. So it's VO over one plus A times one plus two A minus V naught over one plus A. <clears throat> so immediately we can take V naught out and this will become V naught squared. And we now have one plus two A minus uh, one all over one plus A. So one plus two A minus one is just two A. And I'm going to bring the two to the outside and I'm left with a over 1 plus a so if I added on 1 so in here if I add on 1 over 1 plus a and then subtract minus 1 
plus 1a. So basically this is the same equation. So 1 over 1 plus a minus 1 plus 1 over a is 0. So it's basically the same, same equation. But I'm just going to combine these two here. So I now have 1 plus a. So these two here combined give me 1 plus a all over 1 plus a. And this gives me minus 1 over 1 over a. So this will become uh, 1 plus, this will just become 1 minus 1 over 1 plus a. That becomes 1. Now, 1 over 1 plus a. From our momentum theory, that's the efficiency of the propeller. So it uh, becomes 1 minus uh, eta, the, the efficiency of the propeller. So if we transpose that uh, equation, sorry, before I do that, uh, we need the, the mass flow. So mass flow is rho sv naught. So if I substitute that back in uh, to the equation, I get the power is 2 times rho s, so v naught by v naught squared is v naught cubed. And then we'll transpose that to give us a value for, for v naught. So v naught is the cube root of the power over 2 rho s, 1 minus uh, neta. So for that viewer that was looking to get V naught, if you know the power, you could probably make an assumption on the efficiency um, or a range of efficiencies and you'll get a value of, of V naught. So I hope that answers the question.